When you think of closing, what do you think of? Many people think of being strong-armed. They imagine a pushy, sleazy, manipulative salesperson who is forcing them into a decision. They have negative connotations in their mind around what closing is. That perception of closing will hold you back in sales. If you have any of those perceptions as a salesperson, you need to erase those perceptions if you want to be more effective in the game of sales and influence more people's lives in a positive way. So right now, I'm gonna to talk to you about what closing is not. The first thing that closing is not is closing is not getting someone to say yes. It is not getting a yes decision. We have had clients that would not even accept that definition. They really believed that closing is about getting someone to say yes, uh, but it's not. Closing is about simply helping people make a decision about what is best for their needs and wants. That's it. When you understand the correct definition of closing, you begin to see that a yes is good, a no is also good. It's the maybes you learn to hate. It's the maybes that are indecision. And we wanna help save people from their own analysis paralysis, their own indecision. Closing is just about helping them decide what is best for them and get off the indecision wagon and actually make a decision for their best interests. The second thing that closing is not is it is not selfish. Now, many people are self-focused when they're selling. They're focused on their own need to make money, their own desires to win. They're not focused on their prospect, on their customer, and on their needs. Unfortunately, you can smell that kind of commission breath from a mile away, and it doesn't smell good. People don't like it. In fact, closing shouldn't be selfish. If you are self-focused, you are actually causing the close to not happen. Instead, you need to be focused on the customer's needs, on solving their problem. If you look at closing as a service, and you're providing them a service of helping them solve a problem, you will be much more effective at the art of closing. The third thing that closing is not is it's not about applying pressure. A lot of times people think that, yeah, it's, it is. I need to put pressure on people to make a decision. Um, but it's not about strong arming. In fact, if your prospect feels any of that, they're not going to let you close them. They're not going to let you bring them to a point of decision. They're going to give you objections. They're going to say, I need to think about it. I need to talk to another decision maker. Can you follow up with me later? They will give you anything but a decision if they feel any kind of pressure. At Southwestern Consulting, we teach that instead of applying pressure, you need to create what we call a buying atmosphere. You see, a buying atmosphere is different than a selling atmosphere. A selling atmosphere is an atmosphere where people feel sold. Nobody wants to feel sold. A buying atmosphere is an atmosphere where you take the pressure off and you actually give someone the opportunity to say no because the more comfortable someone feels telling you no, the more likely they will be comfortable to say yes. And the fourth thing that closing is not is it is not talking someone into something. In fact, closing really isn't about talking at all. It's more about listening. It's more about asking the right questions. In fact, many people, many salespeople talk themselves out of the sale because they're not comfortable in the silence. We have to be good at asking the right questions and then waiting and listening for the answers.